Hey man, automation is a great tool to help you add movement and excitement to your mix. Let's check this out in Studio One. Oh, what's up YouTube? I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com and this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. Today, we're gonna to be talking about automation. Now, what is automation, Wavy? Automation is basically the ability to record changes in your mix and have them play back in real time. Studio One offers some great automation modes, enabling you to automate volume, pan, mute, and even controls inside of a plugin, all right? So we're gonna take a look at how we can use automation inside of Studio One to enhance our mix, and I'll even show you around the different automation modes. Let's check it out. Hey man, I wanna give a big shout out to Mackie for sponsoring this video. They make studio gear that's built like a tank. And right now we have a giveaway going on that you can enter to win some amazing prizes. If it's still going on, you can click the link down in the description below to enter. All right, so let's take a look here. Basically, let's say with this vocal, I wanted to add some delay effect in. I'm gonna play it now and so you can hear the delay effect that I have going on on this mix. Getting paid in the off season, in the all that beef, I'm not vegan. vegan. They used to call me young they used to call me young that heat and I keep that heat. From the block to the block, from the block to the block. Mars of the moose, same 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 of the moose, <laughs> All right, now you can hear that that's just way too much delay going on. So yes, I can automate simple stuff like the volume, the panning, but I can also automate that send level going over to that delay. And that's gonna give me a lot of control over that delay and just make it happen when I want to and silence when I don't. So let's take a look at the automation modes inside of Studio One. So each track is gonna have an automation mode selector right next to the mute and solo here in our edit portion. And then you can also find an automation mode selector in the mix window here down at the bottom and the default automation mode in Studio One is actually off. So no automation can be read or recorded when you have it off. My favorite automation mode I'll talk to you about first, I'll just go up right here to my automation mode selector and switch over to touch mode. Touch mode is dope because it's gonna only record automation when you're actually touching and changing that parameter. If you have a touch sensitive control surface like the fader port 16, or if you just click it, the fader with your mouse or whatever parameter it is that you're changing, you click it with the mouse, then that's when it will actually start to write that automation. And when you release that parameter, uh, Studio One will stop recording the automation for that parameter. So. Um, let's take a look at how I can do this. I'm gonna use this track view selector here for the little automation uh, view. You can turn it on and off here on the, on the track pretty easily. I'm gonna go right down to my, uh, not pan automation. I'm gonna go to my send level automation after I've enabled touch. And you'll see that as this starts playing, I'll just adjust this fader here, adjust this little slider on screen and and turn it up and down, turn this delay level up and down as needed. All right, so let's uh let's try this out. Getting paid in the off season, all that beef, I'm not vegan. Not they used to call me young heathen, I keep that heat, it's op season. From the block to the blockchain, mines of the moose same. My coin base like blue flames, I'm dropping gems like loose chain. Like loose chain. <laughs> All right, pretty dope. So you see that when I am working in touch mode, it actually only records while I'm touching and modifying that parameter. As soon as I release that parameter, uh, Studio One stops recording any automation. Let's switch over to another automation mode here. Let's go over to latch mode. Latch mode is similar to touch mode in how it actually starts recording the automation. The difference is that once I release the parameter, latch is gonna actually latch on to the last position of that parameter and continue until I stop the playback, all right? So let's uh, take a look at that. Latch mode can be used to kind of update automation like for a whole verse or a whole section of a song. Getting paid in the off season. All that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me See, now if I don't touch it again, it will continue to overwrite automation until I actually stop the playback. So that's how latch mode works. It doesn't start until you change something, but once you do, it's gonna latch on to the last position. Now, Right mode is definitely my least favorite automation mode in any DAW. Um, but the reason being is that as soon as I hit play, it's gonna start writing automation. It's not gonna give me the option to only write while I'm changing anything. It's gonna record the state of 
every parameter that I have and actually write automation for that parameter. Let's take a look. Getting paid in the off season. All that beef, I'm not vegan. You see, it's writing my automation here, here now. Keep that heat, it's op season. From the block to the block. <laughs> and that's just, you know, not the coolest thing to do. I really like the in, the smartness of touch mode and latch mode to actually write and record my automation. When you're done with automation, you can go in and, and zoom in here and edit the breakpoints graphically. So if you had any mistakes or anything that you needed to fix, you could do that easily on this graphical breakpoint automation. Also, once you're done, you should switch out of whatever automation mode that you use, whether it's touch, latch, or write, and change over to read. This way you won't accidentally record over any of the automation that you want to keep. And then Studio One will just play back the existing automation. I keep that heat, it's op season. From the block to the blockchain. Mazda the moose same. My coin base like blue flames. I'm dropping gems like loose chains. Like loose chains. Like all right, child, that is a basic look at automating inside of Studio One. Let me know what other questions you may have down in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the website, wavywayne.com. Grab you a Studio One template that'll help you to get started recording and mixing better and faster. Be dope. <laughs>